yeah, we'll have a, a couple of overall questions and then we'll get a chance to jump into the activity sheet. You can, the fun thing about seeing how this actually works is we will get to encounter all of these problems yeah. that he was just talking about, about like, I can't get in and this sort of thing, and we have to solve those ourselves today. Um, but any large scale questions? Or? Yeah. yeah. I don't know a lot about WordPress, but it seems to me you're allowing students to go to the website and to start inputting data and creating things, putting pictures, images yeah. into the website. Now, is it designed such that you have to have a password and login to get in to do that? It's a public-facing site, yes. So, yes. so you give each student a password yeah. and login, and how and does I that actually, work? How do you manage that? Yes, I didn't dive into this uh, in too much of detail, so, so let, me, let me talk this talk through some of the issues with this. Mm -hmm. So um, the way the site is created is to make actual posts. Generally, every WordPress site requires you to have a login. Um, for all of our classes, we have all the students log in password. For comments, because the way the, the concept of WordPress was created, that can be toggled on or off. Now, I will say, if you have a WordPress site and you have a comment section, you want that toggled on. Because if you have comments open to the public, a spam bot will find it and will start spamming your WordPress site instantaneously. <laughs> um, in the first class I taught, they had spam bots that figured out some kind of weird loopholes where even though you said you have to have a login into the WordPress site to post a comment, they were still posting comments. And luckily, you can, as an administrator, say before a comment is actually visible to the public, you have to moderate it and approve it. Um, so we would, we would decline all of them. But you would have, I mean, all of a sudden you'd have a day in which you would have 50 spam messages that you would have to go and decline. Uh, I will say at WID, I haven't had this problem with spam bots, but I think this goes back into the before you can do anything to post anything, you have to be on campus and have a campus login. Now, one other thing I, I actually was going to mention, and John and I were talking about this, is that WordPress is also designed very much in the idea of kind of blog authors. And one of the issues we've had in classes is when we have group projects, it's not really set up for multiple authors by default. And where this becomes problematic is you have a group, they want to do a group posting. Now if you think about the way that, that the concept of WordPress was set up, this kind of makes sense. If I make a sports blog, I don't want one of my bloggers being able to jump into someone else's blog post and edit and moderate. So um, it, it, it makes sense but it makes it so then the students generally, if they have some kind of group activity, have to choose someone to make the post. Uh, so they'll send that person con content and they'll upload it. But, um, so, so a couple, uh, kind of a, a long-winded. No, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions about, yeah. Uh, so if this is publishing things out publicly, yeah. you don't have to spend more time That's, that's a good question. So in this class, um, I've had someone from Wharf come in every single semester. And um, so I, I work a lot with Justin Anderson. I really like him. And he's been great to come to class and talk to students about IP issues. We've also had some people last semester come in from, um, I think, from other, other organizations. But they, I guess they were, they were more toward uh, commercializing IP and less about protecting IP. But we, we do, in fact, talk about that. And like I said, this becomes a really tricky issue because if you have students developing things that they think they want to commercialize, how much information do they want to make public facing? Um, so we're not asking people to upload schematics or code. But if you think you have something that the IP is really just the cleverness of the idea, um, yeah, I like it. So we, we probably do spend more time than some other classes. Uh, but my, my experience has been if you talk to work, they're very happy to come to your class and talk to, talk to students. Yeah? So, I'm assuming if, if you have to monitor the content that you would be a 
time, but I guess students were trying to, for example, post about assignments. Yeah, so, so there's, and there's a couple different mechanisms you can use. So one of them is that you make a post and you open up comments below. Mm -hmm. And for those comments, you can then moderate them. So that, that, and this happens in the way I do this is for reading discussion. So they'll post their reading discussion, but I have to moderate them so they can't see the other people's reading discussions because again, you have this plagiarism problem of, as opposed to me doing the reading, I look at what someone else said and then I either copy and paste it or I kind of just record it, and we don't want that. In terms of, of posting uh, content, which is a different, a different item, um, that's where you would, you would create something that looks like a web page, and you would have images and movies and those kind of things embedded, and that will happen instantaneously. Actually, I don't, and this goes into a question, I, so there's also in WordPress, there's this idea of roles, so given a different, so, so given one role, you can only post comments. And given another role, you can actually create posts. And given another role, you can create pages. And pages and posts are different in kind of an interesting way. And then given another role, you can actually go and, and edit other people's stuff. So there, there's this idea of roles, and I, in, in the middle of all of the roles, I, I'm a little bit lost as to what exact things you're allowed to do and not. Like, I understand the bottom level and the top level, and I kind of understand some of the stuff in the middle, but I'm not enough of an expert to, off the top of my head, say, here are all the different things you can do as a contributor that you can't do as an author or something like that. And that actually brings us into a real good, um, into the on um, actual hands-on stuff. One of the things that, that we discovered was, as the owner of the site, I have access to the dashboard, the old style dashboard, which is the one that you have on um, WordPress.org that's hosted your hosted site at the WID. Yeah. I've been using WordPress.com, and so I get the new dashboard, which is very weird to me because I grew up sort of with the old dashboard, mm -hmm. and so things aren't where they used to be, and every time, but it seems like every time that I teach with this, and I've taught with WordPress for four semesters. Every time it's like a little bit different, and I have to go through this learning curve again at the beginning in order to figure out, and I've got to sit down with my students, and they see stuff that I don't see because I can see one thing, and I'm like, what, what, what do you mean? It, yeah. it should be right here, and I look at theirs, and it's not right there. And these are all, like, this is a hassle sometimes. And this is a hassle of using technology. Your students will see stuff that you don't see because you're more of an expert, you've got different privileges, and we even see this in Canvas, we see this in Desire to Learn, where the instructor views one thing and the student views something else, so you're like, looks great as an instructor, and then the students point out all these things and you're like, it doesn't look like that, look, you can see it looks like this. So, let's grab the activity sheet and do some work on it. And And I'll open up mine up here, and, and uh, you'll see what Mike can see, and then you'll see what the WordPress site looks like for you. And we should all be given admin privileges. So in theory, it should be the same. But I suspect that it's not. It's a little bit different because I've got several sites. What did you guys add? <coughs> I got some random. I think I've been there already because I got some random koala bears. One of the first things that I like to ask <laughs> is just with the poll when you get in there, see if on the left side here you get you get WP admin because my two project assistants don't get that, but I do. So when we're making this activity sheet, the old version of the activity sheet talked about going into WP admin, and my friend was like, no, we Yep. 
But do you see when you click, you click on my site, is that what you're saying and you're trying to see if you have the WP admin? Yeah, well if you click on, you get to my sites and then you get to the active teaching lab here. Mm -hmm. Right, and then um, at the very, very bottom under settings, do you have a WP admin? appears to have grabbed one of my Google blogger sites <laughs> and become a WordPress site. That's Unbeknownst weird. to me, I have no idea where it's hosted. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very weird. There you go. I don't know that I have any. I mean, like, what, what like what I'm in my actual WordPress. How many of you have worked with WordPress before? All right. Is, have you worked with this version of WordPress before? Or That's something like this version of WordPress? Like my, I don't have it. Now I'm able to. No, under my, uh, no, but it does know, it did know that, I know, it was a bit strange for me to, like, get away back and forth. It was that, did you, so, so like when you invited me to the WordPress site, did you find me in WordPress? I didn't invite you because I assumed you were already there since you got my koala bear thing. I did, but how did I get there? How am I in your site? I don't know. I don't know. So you can't find the active teacher? No, what's weird is I have, because this is my, the actual site, this is my site. But then it's, 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 yeah, so that's I, I was able to log into WordPress, but it's bringing up sites that aren't this oh, one for me to be able to edit. Yeah, I can edit these. I can't edit the uh, Oh, okay. But since it's already in there, maybe you did. I was just as an admin. Maybe. Let me check. So just a follower, because I got quite a bear. And, and the, the concert, the winter concert invitation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. M. Sesto is a follower. <coughs> Margina, yeah, you're in here as an editor. So, oh, you're switch editor. your role to admin, save changes, all right. You have been successfully yes. updated. Oh, all right. Who else? Are you in the choir? I, yeah. I, I'm trying, but it's not showing me this side. I mean, yeah. Yes. Edit your side. I'm just well, here on this side. Yes, editor. Yeah, I didn't. So, yeah. so yeah. I haven't done had the work registered. Oh, she did. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, um, so um, I, I'm lucky enough to have not had to be the administrator part of this. Who else are we missing? I'm sorry. My understanding is that we'll be Are you else on this one? Yeah. yeah. I have a question. I just know that. Yeah. 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 These were all blogger Basically blogs right. that somehow right. got pulled into WordPress, so and I have no idea where, when, or how, or where they're hosted. Sites. Inside of the server. Interesting. I have blogger blogs. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is a bunch of PHP I have, so a lot of these are blogger blogs. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I know. But I never have my dot Anderson. The only WordPress I have is this one. They have the same thing. I think it found me, like, my actual. Last posted in, like, 2000. My actual WordPress profile. Wow. Okay, here we go. 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 So wait, um, that video so, 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 so first it came in that I had to log in, so I logged in and it gave me all my stuff. And now when I click again, it's giving me a different site. And so you can install plugins that they try to do it. How weird is it? Did you get to know that? I haven't used it. What's your WordPress app? And you're an admin and you can most things out of the game. Okay. Yeah. 
how the yes. how the yes. server is going to work. So it seems like there's two options. You can get with WordPress.com. They bring in the artifacts. And they'll host. 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 they will host 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 we have a WordPress server. But yeah, is that weird? And that then you oh, said, I just want to cite from that server. Mm -hmm. See, she doesn't even have a so that, admin that, option. That you're Why? basically you're your host. But you guys are both out of here. Are the same I, special? <laughs> some people are raw equal. Some are more equal. Can I give me my permission? Yes. Yes. Yeah, right. And so that's why. So I ended up talking to Wynn. So like one of the, the plugins that I generally use is a, a Google Analytics plugin. Mm -hmm. um, ah, that's they're all uh, because. I like to have that kind of information. She just did it. Like like it. it looks like the new version yeah. actually has it a lot of it built in, but originally they didn't. And so then I've been doing some oh, hacky things to try to embed the HTML. Oh, it was in the file. Oh, it was in the file. I was like, this is cool. One of the guys that stopped editing actually they found a new book uploading malicious code using this. So it's really cool. So my students, when they want to upload things to your HTML, you it should be able to because you are also admin, <laughs> but you're not as equal admin at first. <laughs> so for the most part, when they write, they can only do HTML things that embed YouTube videos, make things bold, or highlight, or change colors. But they can't do any crazy HTML. You can actually upload HTML, embed HTML. So you can. You can do that, but they've made it so that it, um, it scrubs a lot of it. It scrubs a lot of the tags. So when you make a post, you can either do it with, in a way that looks like Microsoft Word or something like that, where when you type something, you select bold and it makes it bold, or you can turn in the HTML version in which you're doing the, the tags. This is like Dreamweaver. You have the two modes. You yeah. have the designer mode, yep. you have the code yep. mode. So you can switch so you between, can switch between them. them. And that's where you embed your code. Yep. Okay. Okay. So then the weird thing is that you embed your code. And as soon as you try to publish it or go back yes. to the GUI version, it will just scrub out a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Because it says this, there's a possibility at some point this could be malicious, so we're pointing that. Yeah. So that's one of the security things that they've done. Okay. Um, it, your students will likely never know. <laughs> but if you're trying to do something really weird, so, uh, so some of my group, we've tried to do things where we do like WebGL. And they, so you have like three D uh, interactive things on that web page. WordPress, is, WordPress by default is not. And then they're like, "Well, I have to sign up for a second Okay. Good. Good time. Okay. Yeah. A couple questions. But yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Here, and I'm just yeah. Kind of interested. All right. Let's. Let's talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So you're gonna be around for a little while. I'll be around for a little while. Yeah. Thank you. So. What are our thoughts? <laughs> Why would anyone want to read this? Oh. All right. Am I the only one who probably can post this? No, no. We have someone close here. We've got a numerical list. We've got. Look at someone else. We've got Louis. We've got Hello ATC. Uh, okay. Come to 
is it? Any other questions? All kinds of stuff. Oh, sorry. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What did I post, Julie? We stole someone else's post, that's why. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> All right, so lots of options here. Let's do the, this kind of video in it, that's nice. Good job, Lee. You win. Uh, <laughs> I free coffee. You get to stand on top of all the other bodies with your flag. <laughs> I've got free coffee. So WordPress, what are your initial thoughts and experiences? Dang <laughs> I did. If you're not part of WID and you're just part of LNS, where do you even go to be able to get a WordPress site hosted? I go to WordPress.com. Oh, okay. And, and it's hosted WordPress. there so you're not hosting it on campus anywhere. Right. It's WordPress.com, the Active Teaching Lab, and my Active Teaching with Technology Delta class is WordPress.com, and my Wisconsin Experience class is WordPress.com. Okay. Um, Are you doing the free version of it then? There? And the students get ads in there after the posts, mm -hmm. and it's... They survive. They survive. <laughs> so, but you can't use plugins because it's not on the whole Correct. Thing. Which is a blessing and a curse both. Yeah. Because a lot of the plugins will break each other. Yeah. Um, and it takes a lot more tinkering to use plugins. And I figure it's complicated enough, so let's just keep it simple and mm -hmm. go with the basic. And the basic elements are the student's post, they see each other's posts. Just as Kevin was talking about, they learn from each other. Julie's in my class right now, although we haven't done any WordPress stuff for the last couple of weeks because we've been focusing on the campus course. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's useful. And they run each other's plan. 
Is there a way to use special characters because I teach Spanish and then they accents and different words uh, that they need to use because it's part of the language? My understanding is that the same X keyword shortcuts work. Yep. Um, so I've used them already in languages. Okay. Yeah, you can just, uh, I use a Mac, and so it's not like you have to put in the okay. code numbers. I just do like you know option E A, and I get an accented A, and it renders fine. Okay, sure. Thank you. Do you have to worry about FERPA or copyright? Because it's public Great, great question. FERPA or copyright? The way that I do it is I tell my students um, to use any username they want. Um, I don't know who they are. Um, I only have like up to 20 some students, so it's easy for me to keep track of. Um, but I also do like it's they're very low level assignments, so mine are usually like you did it or you didn't do it, or it's like a five point thing. Um, it's just enough that they'll do it, but not enough that it's a high risk thing. And so I do a lot of like um, high risk, high failure rate sort of things. Um, but actually, it's not I feel like great. Like the scary part is, I'm going to create something that's public facing. <coughs> and, and like that, that is amazing. The, and I'm sure Kevin can probably speak to this, the quality goes up when they start to write for the public. Do you have any examples of that or, or anything to add to that? I don't know if I can compare us. Uh, I mean, I felt that too. Um, and I, I've, I guess where I've, this is outside of this, but where I've seen it more is where students do projects that are showcased to the public compared to just showing to the class at the end of the semester. And once they have to, to show it off to the public, it's, it's a self-motivator to make things better than if it's just, they're showing it to me. So just on that, would you use this more for like, Final project work and not for like the day to day developmental work that they're doing. So, uh, week, so yeah. that they can show their, they can show something that they've chosen is to be representative rather than something where they you know, work to all, all the way through. Yeah, I found it really useful though to, to be able to document the process. So, so that, that when on some of my sites you go, you look at the final project, the first thing you see is the end. You see the final project in its, you know, its final form, it's working, it looks great. But as you scroll down the post, you can see the process it took to get there. Um, I think that's an important part of, of, of learning and an important part of the sort of the metacognition of learning of saying, I don't know anything about this right now. Here's what I can say about it. It's drafty. It's I look dumb, but that's okay. I'm I'm a beginner. I'm a novice, and I, it's hard for a lot of students because they they got the Madison, and so they're all uh, like I got to do professional work from the get go. But I really I want to foster that. Like it's okay to show sports and then do the works and find the model. My concern is that say, those students that graduate are looking for jobs, you don't know what kind of judgment the people in those future jobs will bring when they're looking at it. And if you will start to come up with this science, and sure. you know, what are the implications? Is it easy for people to remove information? Or well, so one thing is that by, def by default, they don't necessarily know who did that. Okay. In, in, and it, it may be that it would be possible to figure it out, but it might take some work. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is an open question of, you know, if you, if you put a project out, if you do a class project, and if you have an employer in the future who looks back and says, oh, that's all you did, I, I don't know. I mean, I, this goes into, I guess, part of the world we live in now with Facebook and employers going and looking at people's Facebook accounts and figuring out, oh, when they were, you know, in college, they did this and this and this, do we want to hire this person? So. And part of the process is also learning how to write for the public. Yeah. Which is tremendous, tremendously valuable, I think. Um, and to be able to do that in a um, 100 level class or a whatever level class, undergraduate class, is much nicer than 
doing it for the first time after college, when you're in that position. It's a, a, an environment for low stakes failure. Do you, as an instructor, do you need to have a databases you just put the link on there on your page and then when you click on it you have to go through the mm -hmm. right if you're logged in already you're there yeah. yeah all right it is 9 um, 30 and I want